Hey guys, today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use these um, aluminum brazing and welding rods to weld aluminum using nothing but a simple regular propane torch. You don't need any expensive welding equipment, just a regular torch. And you will also need a wire brush. I'm using a drill powered brush. It's like a brush that fits in a drill. It's easier. You can also use a hand brush. So the first step, which is very important, is to properly prepare the metal. This metal looks clean, but there's aluminum oxide, which stops the stuff from adhering properly. So I'm going to first clean it up with the wire wheel. It is very easy to clean this up. You just use the drill powered brush and just clean up the parts that will be welded. You can see how the metal is significantly shinier here where I used the wire brush. And that's because the oxide layer is gone. And now we can weld these together without any problems of adhesion. So I'm just going to clamp these in my vise here and just try joining it at that end. So you just use a torch. If you're welding small piece of aluminum, you can use a regular propane torch. Even those cheap ones get the job done. For a heavier or thicker metal, you need a map gas torch and a powerful tip. I'm using a Turbo Torch TX503, which is pretty hot. So let's get started. The first step is to just heat up that metal until <clears throat> the solder, I mean, not sorry, the welding rod flows right into it. It's just like soldering. Now I have my metal pieces clamped up here and I'm going to be using my propane torch here. This is a turbo torch, but you can really use any torch, though I would recommend a high heat model, otherwise it'll take a long time. You just heat this up and then start touching the welding rod to it. Once the rod melts, you know it's hot enough. If it doesn't melt from the heat of the metal, just heat it more. You can see the, the metal is just hot enough for it to flow naturally. Yep, that's perfect. It's flowing right in. Okay, you can see that when it's hot enough, it just flows right into that gap. This base metal is hot enough to melt the filler, and that's how you know it's good. Just for a little extra strength, I'm going to try welding this edge too. Now we have to wait for this to cool before we can have any closer look at it. These are technically not welding rods. They are, it says brazing and welding rods because this melts at a lower temperature than the base metal. So it's technically brazing, similar to solder, which means that though this joint is strong and it's perfectly fine for something like repairing an aluminum window or even fixing a leak in an aluminum boat, never use rods like these for any structural or critical application. Like don't use this on something that could cause injury or damage if it fails because it is not structural grade. So once this cools, we can try ripping it apart. So I've got our metal piece clamped up here. This, this is welded with the aluminum rod and let's try breaking it. Well, as you can see the metal deformed before it <clears throat> broke, but the weld definitely is the weak spot. As you can see here, that is a different color because the filler metal, which is the welding rod, actually stuck to it. Same there, you can see where it's stuck, which means that we actually ripped apart the metal, <clears throat> the filler metal. So the bond between the welding rod and the aluminum is good, but the rods themselves are very weak. So like I said, never use this for anything structural. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. And See you all next time. I'll have a link to buy everything used in the video in the description and see you next time.